Tensions between Israel and Poland took a violent and worrisome turn on Tuesday as the Polish ambassador to Israel was attacked outside the country's embassy in Tel Aviv. And the Israeli news site Ynet reported that Marek Magorowski was simply standing on the sidewalk when a man verbally and physically harassed him. But Magorowski couldn't make out what the man was saying except for him uttering the words Polish repeatedly. And the Polish embassy and Magorowski then filed a complaint with the Israeli police and the foreign ministry. So fortunately, the assailant was arrested an hour and a half after the incident. Though this altercation comes amidst a flurry of controversy regarding Polish-Israeli relations. To recap, first Poland attempted to pass a law that would make accusing the country of being complicit in Nazi war crimes illegal, and those convicted could be subjected to a hefty fine and up to three years in prison. Then, although the law's bite was dramatically reduced in the end, the Israeli-Polish relations never fully recovered, and the occasional diplomatic tussle has been the norm ever since. Most recently, for example, an Israeli delegation to Poland was cancelled because the former wanted to discuss Holocaust reparations. Then in somewhat related news, a Jewish woman in Sweden was just stabbed yesterday by an unknown attacker. So police have launched a manhunt for the suspect, and they plan to charge him with attempted murder if apprehended. And the victim, a six-year-old woman and wife of the leader of Helsingborg's Jewish community, is in stable condition. Though President Reuven Rivlin remarked that this is just the latest example of troubling anti-Semitic attacks in Europe adding that the brutal stabbing of a member of the Jewish community in Sweden is yet another reminder that Jews cannot rely on fading memories of the Holocaust to keep today's Jewish communities safe. This as our schools, synagogues, and community centers are turning slowly into fortresses.